All right, you guys, this is Ross. In this video, I want to show you guys, I think, the best way to grow strawberries. Uh, if you're at home, you're a home gardener, you deal with a lot of pests, a lot of critters, a lot of problems with your strawberries, I think this is the best way. And the reason I say that is because we have, very simply, a raised bed, really not that high off the ground, filled it in with some soil, transplanted in our Mar de Bois strawberries. By the way, if you're not growing Mar de Bois, I don't know what you're doing. But then we also put a hinged door on top of the bed. And I got a staple gun and stapled this, uh, this mesh material here, which is like an insect netting, um, and attached that to the door. And that way, you can open this up and harvest whenever you want. Very simply, I have a handle on it. You just open this up, put this down to the side, let it sit there, do your harvesting. And then when you're done, you close it back up and your strawberries are protected because you have this insect netting, essentially, on top of your strawberries. And that was always my biggest problem is that when I grew strawberries over on the other side of the yard here, on the other side of the fence, um, I always had to protect them because literally everything in this yard, in this area, loves strawberries. The birds, the skunks, the squirrels, the rabbits, uh, the groundhogs, everything. Um, slugs are a big problem, by the way. So if you can keep out all those things I just mentioned, by using this system, I mean, why wouldn't you, right? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense not to. I think this will basically guarantee that I harvest all the strawberries, blemish-free, problem-free. Uh, it's just easy. The only thing I would improve on, because I saw this at uh, Michael McConkie's place in Afton, Virginia, Edible Landscaping. When he did his tour, he had his strawberries on a berm that was at his waist. This, I had to come down here and harvest and get on the ground, which, you know, isn't the worst thing in the world. But if you could have a raised bed or even just a berm that was at your waist and you didn't even have to bend down to harvest, you could just pick. I mean, that would be like the best thing ever. Uh, I think at that point, if you had fully protected strawberries Mar de Bois strawberries at your waist, you didn't have to bend down. I think that would be the best thing ever. I I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything better in life than that. <laughs> so that's my little strawberry box, guys. Um, personally, I think it's really, really um, easy to create. Obviously, you just put together two boxes, get some hinges and screw them in and then get this, this uh, fleece here. This is not easy, this is not difficult to find. A lot of people sell this as row cover uh, for farmers and stuff. So you just buy yourself insect netting row cover. It lasts a very long time. And then you get yourself a staple gun and you can even staple it to the inside, which I probably should have done. But this'll let the water go in. It's not blocking anything out, except for all the things you don't want. All right, guys, I think you should grow some strawberries and check out our other videos on strawberries. We have so many videos, taste tests, how to grow them, everything. We'll see you guys soon, all right? Take care.